It looks like I have about 15 minutes on the camera left. So, what I want to talk to you about is the idea of spiritual warfare. Uh, in the world, you have the spiritual warfare of the news, the constant direction that brings you into the state of mourning. Okay? Once, however, you leave that behind, uh, there's more. So then you have you know, physical manifestations. And I'll take for an example. It was 2012, yeah, definitely in 2012, I'm at the computer, type, 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 type. then the, the window starts rattling. <laughs> hmm. Right? <laughs> now look, it's, it's, because I could look just like this. You know, it didn't look bad. So I said, <laughs> it rattles again. So I go outside, I go around, and I go to the back, and I open the screen door, and I had a staff, a stick, which I, um, <clears throat> in fact, if you see that video, uh, my movie, the movie, uh, to make sure that Christ is in charge of your life. That's the staff that's in there. That's the, the prop. So then, just, it's, <laughs> just, so then I go outside, man, and I'm looking up, and there's this a black swirling, think of the conical shape I always tell you about. And what brings this into the idea of, of not just a mental, but a physical manifestation is the fact that there's going to be um, physical proof at the end, and I'll tell you about that. So this thing's spinning, and I'm looking up into it, and it's not uh, its not a, to where you can not see the end of it. I can see the end of it. It's, it's actually not that far away. But it, the inside is, um, if you can think of a reverse uh, uh, beehive, but looking at it from, from, the, uh, from the mold aspect. And then there was was the energy was static. It was static in that uh, the arcs that I saw were going around with the rotation of the conical shape. All right? So it wasn't arcing across. And what I did was I held that staff, all right? Like if I was going to hold a power, and I said, I said, in the name of Christ, you will be gone. Pow! And that thing dissipated. It just spread out, it spun up and went across and then it became just clouds. So I'm looking and there's leaves and stuff on me. The physical, you know, manifestation of wind and high winds. And I'm looking around, did anybody else see this? Nobody around. I go out to the front, I'm looking around. Still there's there's you can still see the proofs. But there's nobody out looking. There's nobody out looking around as well. So the thing is, some things are meant for you to see and to experience in both the, in the spiritual, but also a crossover into the physical. And it's, it's a lesson for you, all right? And it may just be for you so that you, you see something. And that's where the, the uh, uh, for me, that's where I'm able to use the idea of the conical shape and the idea of how that power is contained within that uh, plasma, all right? The idea of a projection, a projection of danger that is, in fact, only brought into physical manifestation if you believe. As soon as you cast it away, it dissipates. It disappears. <clears throat> but you see, though, that it was the idea. What is that? that brings that into physical manifestation, all right? Thought you'd find that interesting. Same year, I'm doing my deliveries because I was delivering uh, from my cannabis store. And uh, I'm waiting at the stop sign. Stop, this is a this is a 2025 residential, very narrow street, you know, uh, like old California construction. So everybody just knows to creep through. So I'm at that stop, I look, I start to go across, pow, all right, pow, one rotation, two rotation, three rotation, landed, went forward, and I'll tell you how I knew. It hit in the back, this guy was driving so fast, it hit in the back so perfectly, it kissed kissed that point and popped me up into space, that envelopment, all right? 
the power release, the energy release, allowed that weight of that, that full car to, st to stay up and then rotate three times. The only reason that I didn't land in place was that there was still some forward momentum on my part, which had not been displaced by the impact. Otherwise, it would have been a perfect rotation. And that's to show you that there is no perfection here. There's close to it, but there's always that splinter. Hmm? I've told you about that. It's always the, it's the beam, all right? It's the beam, it's the idea of the original sin, that bite. Adam's rib, remember? So then if you take the idea of the spiritual allegory, Adam's rib, so then what was taken from him became what then destroyed him, hmm? then turns around and then comes back to be what saves him again. It's a full cycle. So then uh, I'm spinning in the air and as soon as it hit, I remember this. I remember going to the left and immediately I was in a different time. So I looked straight down. I had a iced tea like this. And the iced tea was spinning again in that conical shape. However, where the error came in was I saw an ice cube. Go right off the top. I was like, I was like, are you gonna stay? No, it didn't make it. So then I looked up. And then I saw a piece of glass, all right? And I'm looking at that piece of glass and I could see the reflection on it. So the face of the glass was reflecting behind me, all right? I looked to the piece of glass behind, behind it and I was looking at the reflection of this piece of glass, be, uh, it's behind on that forward piece of glass. So that showed me how to look through things which were seemingly um, a solid object in, in your way. The, the, that idea of a mountain, that in, uh, insurmountable uh, object in front of you, laid it flat. Not because of my power, but because of the perspective given to me, the mind given to me. The idea of, don't, you don't have to look at it this, this way that you've been taught. Look at it this way, the truthful way, the way that shows you everything, with nothing hidden. Hmm? All right? That video, I will show you another video. I'll put it up on how to look through something. And I, look, I won't ruin it for you. But I'm able to look through a, 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 it's a, a, a bullet casing. And you're able to look through it, quite literally through it, and see what's behind it. So, there's a lot to see in this place. It's beyond the time wasting. All right? So, once you're past the fact that the news is a hoax and they're lying to you. They're trying to bring you into a state of death, mourning. You can now go out and look, right? And see this place for what it really is. And it's even beyond toiling in the dirt as well. It even goes beyond that. Okay? So. Oh, I'm not even done with that car story, by the way. So I'm spinning and I land. All the windows are blown out, the bags are done, whatever. I just move my boop, I get out of the car and I stand up and I notice my hat is crooked and I straighten my hat and then I took my shirt and I went poop, and all the glass rained down just looked like a shower and then I looked across there was a, a lawn and three people they were, they were sitting there hiding behind the bush like hmm? they're acting like this, you know, well, who is this guy? so it must have been something for, for that reaction. There was, then the, 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 the cop shows up. Doesn't even look in the car. I butt everywhere. Doesn't even look in the car. He says, you okay? I said, yeah, I'm okay. And he says, what, what's that you got there? He said, what's that blood? I said, yeah, that's not mine. And he said, okay. That was it. What had happened was, I had not been cut until I became part of the story, I adjusted my hat without noticing a piece of glass had lodged itself and when I rotated the point of the glass stuck me like a crown. Yeah, so it's all good man. So be free in Christ. I, 
hope you enjoyed this, the, uh, this, the story about uh, where this place can go if you look. There's a lot more to talk about. All right, cheers. Be blessed. See you soon.